Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn about the measurement of resistance using multimeter. We can measure the resistance of various devices with the help of multimeter. I am starting with the basic resistance that is generally four color bands. So I am taking here one resistance which is uh, which having four color bands. You can see first is orange, second is white, third is orange and the last is the gold. So I have written these codes here. So you know that the color coding for the orange first these two digits represent the value orange F3 you know the VV Roy Great Britain very good wife from that orange 3 white represent 9 and this third strip represent the multiplier into 10 to power because orange is 3 and gold represent the tolerance tolerance that is plus minus 5 percent for gold so this resistance will be of 339 kilo ohm so this is the manual calculation now you can check this using multimeter also so for measuring resistance you have to select because it's 39 kilo ohm range so you can select it 200 kilo ohm and So it is showing 38.4, 38.4. If you change the polarity, then it has no effect. Okay, because it's allow the flow of current in both sides, so there is no uh, effect of polarity. So it's 38.4 kilo, 38.4 kilo. So basically, this plus minus 5 percent tolerance is representing this because actually it is 39 kilo ohm but when I am measuring this using multimeter it is coming 38.4 kilo ohm so there is some uh, difference so basically this tolerance is used for this so I think it is clear for this resistance I can take another resistance which is now you can directly measure this resistance what is the value of this resistance it is 0.1 kilo ohm or you can say 100 ohm. If I select range this one, then you can check. It's coming perhaps 99.4 like this. It's about 100 actually. So if you see the color coding, then you can find out it's 100 ohm. The first color is brown, second is black, then brown, then gold. Uh, fourth color is gold. So you can find out this is a 100 ohm resistance. After that you can measure the resistance of regulator, this is a regulator, fan regulator. So what is the resistance of this fan regulator, you can also calculate easily. So actually here are three points, I am connecting first on this point and after that this point. Because it is not coming in this range that means it is out of range. If I select this line and it is representing it's a 97.3 kilo ohm. So actually these two are the extremes. If I connect this here, here you can change the variation in the resistance. If I move this, then you can see the variation in the resistance. It's 65.8. Again I am moving this. So the resistance is decreasing. So that's why the speed of the fan is increases because resistance is decreased. Because there are five points for the speed in the fan regulator, so this is representing that one. So if you rotate this, the resistance is varied. So I think it's clear. You can see this one. And this point will show the extreme resistance, what is the maximum resistance of this regulator. On the part, uh, this is the preset that is uh, used in the ICs. This can be fitted in the ICs, so you can also check the resistance of this. If I connect these two, so it is representing 5.6 kilo ohm resistance, and if I connect it here, it's representing 4.5. So if I rotate this using a screwdriver, if I rotate, 
इस प्रीसेट Because it is set at the extreme, so it is repelling the same resistance. 5.6, 5.6. If I rotate this, resistance is changed. 3.6 kilo. So with the help of this preset, we can change the resistance. On the IC also, so it can behave like a variable register. You can also measure the resistance of any DC motor. This is the DC motor. You can also measure the resistance for this motor. So I have to change the range 200 because it's a low resistance. So it's uh, representing about 5.5 ohm resistance. You can also measure the resistance of any buzzer. This is one buzzer. For that you can also measure the resistance so this buzzer it is out of range so it has high resistance that is not in the range of this multimeter so I can use on the multimeter so this so the limitation of a particular multimeter in this case I am not able to uh, measure the resistance of this particular device because I am measuring the resistance auto mode if I now you can check it is 3.65 mega ohm and uh, it has only range up to 2 mega ohm that's why it's so not representing their value so it's 3.66 mega ohm I think it is clear after that we can measure the human body resistance also if I connect this probe you can check 0.348 it is variable 0.45 mega ohm approx 500 kilo ohm you can see so actually the resistance of body also varied whether the body is dried or wet according to that this resistance is also varied so this is the resistance for the body so I think you can measure the resistances for the various devices with the help of this multimeter and you also learn about the limitations of a particular multimeter here I have seen that uh, this multimeter can measure up to the 2 mega ohm but if the range is more than 2 mega ohm then you have to use some advanced multimeter so I think you have enjoyed this video if you have liked this video please like this and uh, comment and share thank you